Hello everybody, welcome to TechLore. Every VPN on the channel is taken through the same identical review process where I score the five fundamental categories of each service for a total weighted score out of five. As of today, the three highest rated VPNs by far on the Techler channel are NordVPN with a score of 4.7, AirVPN with a score of 4.6, and Private Internet Access with a score of 4.5. Let's go ahead and kick off the video and compare all three of them to see which one is the best for you. If you want to watch my full in-depth reviews on all of the services, I will leave cards up there throughout the video as well as leaving links in the description. Let's go ahead and begin the video comparison with part 1. In our reviews, Nord scored 5 stars on security, AirVPN scored 5 stars on security, and Private Internet Access scored 4.5 stars on security. So Nord's jurisdiction is based in Panama, which is outside the 14 Eyes program. They keep no logs whatsoever, they accept Bitcoin as an anonymous form of payment, their PGP key is is available. They do meet privacy tools IO criteria, they give back to privacy causes, they do have leak protection, first party DNS servers, obfuscation support, AES 256 data encryption, as well as RSA 2048 handshake encryption. AirVPN has its jurisdiction based in Italy, which is inside the 14 Eyes program. They do not keep logs, they accept the Bitcoin as an anonymous form of payment, their PGP key is available, they meet privacy tools IO criteria, they give back to privacy causes, they have leak protection, first party DNS DNS servers, obfuscation support, AES-256 data encryption, and RSA-4096 handshake encryption. Then there's private internet access. They have USA jurisdiction, which is inside the five eyes. This is definitely going to be an issue for some people, depending on who you are. They do not keep logs whatsoever. They offer bitcoins as well as gift cards as an anonymous form of payment. They do not have a public PGP key. It does not meet privacy tools IO criteria. They do give back to privacy causes. They do have leak protection. They do have first party DNS servers obfuscation support, AES-256 data encryption, as well as RSA-2048 handshake encryption. So private internet access is definitely the weakest on security between the three services, since they don't have a PGP key available, they do not meet privacy tools IO criteria, and their jurisdiction is based in the United States. On to speed. On our original reviews, Nord scored 5 stars on speed, AirVPN scored 3.5 stars on speed, and private internet access scored 4 stars on speed. Download decreased on average by 6%, upload decreased by 4%, ping decreased by 11 milliseconds, and the Ubuntu torrent download only decreased by 4%. AirVPN had the lowest speeds and benchmarks and torrenting between the three. Download speeds decreased by 13%, upload speeds decreased by 3%, ping decreased by 26 milliseconds, and the Ubuntu torrent took 17% longer to download. Private internet access scored extremely well in benchmarks, but took a big hit on the torrenting side of things. Download decreased by 6%, upload decreased by 7%, 7.5%, ping increased by 11 seconds, and it took 21% longer to download Ubuntu. So as you can see, Nord definitely dominates on the speed side of things. AirVPN definitely has good speeds, it's just not on the same level as Nord and PIA. As for the settings, Nord scored 3 stars on the original review, AirVPN scored 5 stars, and Private Internet Access scored 4.5 stars. Nord has an auto-connect on startup, they offer a manual kill switch. They offer TCP and UDP protocols. You can put a custom DNS, they offer obfuscated servers, as well as their own CyberSec technology, which is their added malware blocker. AirVPN is going to offer the most settings. They have auto-connect on startup. They do offer a full kill switch. It's going to kill any network activity. It's known as network lock in the settings. They offer TCP and UDP protocols. They have port forwarding. They have a proxy and Tor configuration panel in their settings. They do have network routing, also known as program exclusions. You can put in a custom DNS, and they actually have many more advanced features, you can watch the full review for more information on all the settings, it's just too much to list in this video. Private Internet Access offers auto-connect on startup, they do offer a full kill switch, you can customize TCP and UDP protocols, they do have port forwarding, they have an add malware blocker similar to NordVPN, AirVPN does not offer this setting, and you can customize encryption levels inside of Private Internet Access, which is kind of cool. On to usage, Nord scored 4 stars, AirVPN scored 4.5 stars, 
stars and private internet access scored four and a half stars. So Nord did not offer a Linux client. That was the big thing about it. Outside of that, there really was no issues with NordVPN. AirVPN does offer a Linux client. However, the UI for AirVPN is very outdated. They do not have any first party applications for mobile devices. You're gonna have to use the OpenVPN app, which is a little bit trickier to set up, but there are a lot more settings and benefits for advanced users. Private internet access does offer a Linux client as well. There is no central program, however. It's more of a notification-based program. On to stability, Nord scored four and a half stars, AirVPN scored five stars, and private internet access scored five stars. AirVPN and private internet access are actually perfect here. There was no complaints whatsoever in stability. However, on NordVPN, the kill switch allows you to select vital Windows processes resulting in blue screens. The second very rare issue with Nord is the internet disconnects. I actually talk about this more in my six month update, which you can watch here. It's not a big deal, but it is kind of frustrating sometimes. The last little thing I don't typically talk about much in my reviews is server selection. Nord offers over a thousand servers in 61 countries. AirVPN offers 138 servers in about 16 countries. And private internet access offers 3,272 servers in 25 countries. So this is gonna be the end of part one of our video, which is the direct comparison between everything. Here's a huge summary of everything we talked about to kind of recap everything we already discussed in part one. All of this information is gonna lead perfectly into part two of the video. What does this all mean for you and which one would I recommend to each individual out there? Well, here's the easy way I found to keep it simple for you guys. I would recommend NordVPN as the simple solution for anyone who just wants that it just works Apple effect. You install it, set it up, and forget about it. It's gonna do most of the work for you. It is by far the easiest to use on this list. The next step up I saw was private internet access. It offers a great balance between settings, customization, and ease of use. Every setting I personally would ever wanna change myself is found in private internet access without much fluff and extra things you're never gonna use. Lastly, there's AirVPN, which is gonna be for the advanced power user looking for maximum security and every possible setting in a client. AirVPN is the least polished and by far the most difficult to use on this list, but that doesn't mean it's hard to use necessarily, just more so than the others. If you're ever gonna have a VPN on Linux, don't go with NordVPN. You're gonna have to go online and download each server profile manually. You're gonna have to sort through them. You have to manage them. It is a pain in the butt. Just go with private internet access or AirVPN if you're gonna use anything on Linux. Lastly, here's a short little list I put together for specific uses each VPN excels in. Go ahead and pause the video and see which things you might use the VPN for and which one ticks off the most of your uses. It's another great way to see which is the best fit for you. I hope that cleared up a little bit what VPN might be the best one for your needs. I get this question all the time on my channel, so I figured I'd make a video on it. I have sign up links below for all three of the services in the description, including a two year plan for Nord for only $79 making it the cheapest option of all three VPNs. Private internet access is second in price for $3.33 a month for a one year plan, and AirVPN is gonna be around $5.30 a month for a one year plan. That is everything guys. Once again, if you're still unsure, feel free to watch my in-depth reviews on each service in the description, or go ahead and leave a comment below and I'll get back to you ASAP. Thank you all so much for watching. It means a lot to me. Make sure to follow all my social media platforms. Have a fantastic day. Techlore is out.